Toto Wolff has clarified his and Lewis Hamilton's fallout during qualifying for yesterday's Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix. Toto Wolff and Lewis Hamilton were spotted in heated talks yesterday after the multiple champion and George Russell were knocked out in Q2. Wolff appeared to look frustrated, while Hamilton simply walked off moments later, but has played down their feud after being asked about it on Saturday ahead of the sprint race. Wolf has now clarified the talks, claiming there was no disagreement between the pair. He claimed the frustration was simply because the team were just so angry about the performance of the cars. Speaking to Sky Sports F1, he said, there was no disagreement at all. It doesn't go any closer, like the two of us are. We were just so angry about the session overall. Hamilton refused to elaborate on the discussions after qualifying yesterday. The seven-time champion insisted the chats were just internal talks between the pair. Former Mercedes driver Nico Rosberg weighed in on the argument ahead of FP2 this morning. Speaking to Sky Sports F1, the 2016 champion claimed Wolf appeared to be angry with Hamilton and outlined some possible reasons. He said, It's very difficult to know what was said. If I had to speculate now it looks to me that Toto was annoyed about something that Lewis had done. Which it might be understandable. Lewis could have been very frustrated on the internal Mercedes garage radio or something. Complaining that they didn't follow his thoughts on what they should have done on strategy or complaining about the car or something. Lewis also got out the car before Q2 was over, and it might be still a 1% chance the track could still be in a good shape towards the end of qualifying, you know, so maybe Toto was angry about that. Hamilton and Russell were only quick enough for 13th and 11th after the first runs in Q2. The pair would have run again, but the red flags were flown moments later after Carlos Sainz crashed at the final corner. The rain then came. Soaking the track and rendering any further running meaningless. Hamilton was lucky to even make it into the second part of qualifying after he scraped through Q1 in 15th. The seven time champion would have probably been pipped by Alpine's Esteban Ocant, but the Frenchman was unable to set another time after a mechanical failure. Mercedes are hoping Hamilton and Russell can fare better in the sprint race to give them a slim chance of a podium finish on Sunday. I'm not your 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 I'm not your